If you met your future self, say 20 years from now, what would they tell you? Forget about the stocks you should invest in and the teams you should bet on for just a minute. Think about how your future self would feel about the life you're living today. What would they think about the choices you're making right now? Psychologists have delved deep into this question and they found a big problem. Unfortunately, it's not easy to imagine our future self. For most of us, it's too abstract. That person, whomever they are, is hardly recognizable, almost a stranger. This inability to envision our future selves results in us making decisions we might one day regret. The gap between who we are now and the person we're becoming affects everything from our health habits to our financial plan. But what if we could bridge the gap? What if we could feel a closer connection to who we will become? Research shows something remarkable. When people are shown an age process rendering of themselves, like these images here, it can change their behavior in profound ways. Smokers are more likely to quit smoking. People save more for retirement. They exercise more, make more ethical decisions, and live a more meaningful life. It's as if meeting our future self makes our current decisions more real, more consequential. It's powerful stuff. We we recently used this technique for a smoking cessation campaign concept. After using AI software to age a person's likeness and voice, we then used this future self to motivate people's present self to take action. The visuals were surprisingly powerful. So how can you make decisions that your future self will thank you for? What can you do today, right now? The first step is visualization. Close your eyes and imagine yourself 10 years from now. The more detailed, the better. Visualize where you'll be living, what you'll be doing, and what you'll look like. Using a tool like FaceApp can help, though I can't promise you a future as a silver fox. Next, write a letter to your future self. Describe your hopes and dreams, your values and goals. Put the letter somewhere where you can read it every few months. As your future self and your future life become more familiar, your decisions will naturally shift. The point is to connect the life you're living now to the life you want to live in the future. Then write down some specific goals for what you can do today to give your future self a better life. How much money will you save? Which relationships will you invest in? How will you achieve your fitness goals? What passions will you pursue? Anyone else dream of wearing a toga and retiring in Greece? Just me? Okay, we all have dreams, some of them weirder than others. As author Mike Dooley once said, your thoughts become things manifest wisely. So what will you do today for your future self? How will you bridge the gap between now and then? Psychologist Hal Hirschfeld suggests that you think about your future self as if they were a close friend, not a distant stranger, but someone you know and love. You wouldn't let a friend down. Your future self is counting on you. You're all they've got, so don't let them down.